A year like no other, tonight Governor Whitmer delivering an upbeat message to Michigan. My mission is to find common ground so we can emerge from this crisis stronger than ever. Finding common ground and calls for bipartisanship, a theme of the governor's third state of the state address. Delivered from her office in Lansing without the usual pomp and circumstance, of course, running just 24 minutes. Mara McDonald live in Lansing tonight. Mara, the lion's share of this address was as we expected, the way forward out of COVID. De Devin, exactly. And one of the first things the governor addressed was how slow the rollout of the vaccine has been. She urged his patients. She says the goal right now is to get 70% of the state vaccinated ASAP. Now, I know you're used to me saying fix the damn roads. This year, let's also fix the damn road ahead. Let's find common ground to grow our economy. The governor repeatedly calling for bipartisanship, something that has not been on particular display over the last year. Instead, a constant push and pull over COVID-19 decision making between Whitmer and the GOP led legislature. The relationship is chilly at best. You'd never know it from tonight's address, which focused on the positive. You might think Republicans and Democrats in Lansing can't find much common ground on anything. But the reality is, despite all these crises, and the gridlock in Washington, we took real bipartisan action to get things done for you and your family. Moving forward, it's about where the money goes for schools, businesses hit hard by the pandemic, and workers who have suffered. What will come over the next weeks and months will resemble how sausage is made. Ugly to look at, but hopefully palatable to all by the end. Mar, I don't think we have a choice but to get it together and make sure that the sausage is made at the end of the day. We have an entire state who's dependent and reliant on us to be able to get along. There is always a way if there is a will. And I was glad to hear the governor say that uh, she's ready to join forces because that is a very, very different approach than in, over the past year. Back here live before the governor's address tonight, earlier today in Lansing, the House GOP released its COVID attack plan. And in that attack plan, it talks about allowing local health departments to have the ability to decide whether in-person learning should happen and high school sports, essentially taking away that authority from the governor, giving it to local health departments and attaching federal dollars on it to make it happen. Now, the governor did not address that in her you know, speech this evening, I would say. I would find it shocking if that was to actually happen, but we clearly have some sort of starting point here for negotiations to begin. And Devin Kimberly, we expect to hear both from the Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky and the new House Speaker Jason Wentworth tomorrow as far as their comments on the governor's address. We're live in Lansing tonight at the Capitol. I'm Mara McDonald. Local exactly right, Mar. In fact, we had a number of people questioning about why there wasn't a Republican response tonight. They have saved that for tomorrow at 11 a.m. All right, Mara.